Hey everybody, Chris here from It's Mead Made, and today we are back in Cura talking about supports. How to get those supports stuck to that bed a lot better so we don't have to see them broken off and then saying certain expletives to our printers because I'm not gonna lie, I've said a few choice words in my printer before and let's try to prevent that for you. So we got a lot to talk about. Let's go ahead, jump over to the computer and get started. So we're back in Cura learning more about our support settings. If you've just now joined me and you've missed the other two videos that I go over all of these support settings for finding your overhang angle, and I'll put that right up here on the top. And then the other one, we went over the base settings that every single print you need to look at. And I'll put that video right up here too. And as a quick refresher, if you see support settings that I have and you don't, all you gotta do is go into your preferences and then click settings and scroll all the way down to your supports. For these videos, I have every single thing checked because we're gonna be covering a lot of these. Once you have everything that you want checked, just hit close and you're ready to go. Now let's jump over to our support settings. I'm gonna click supports and it's gonna open up that box for us. Now for this box that I'm using, I am actually going to turn this into a support. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the box, go over here to per model settings, and click on print as support. Now this is a support. So let's go ahead and slice our model and go into preview and now we can see what it's going to look like when it prints. Now I'm going to go into top view so we can really see what this is doing. Now I'm actually going to bring this up to just the second layer so you can see that this is the entire print this is all it's doing is lines that are all single walled. Now let's just go down to see our first layer. This is our first layer and the first layer is obviously our most important layer. To be able to get good adhesion, we have to have a very good first layer. So there is one setting that I use every single time for all of my 3D prints with supports. And that is right here, support brim. So let me show you what this does. All you have to do first is click on Enable Support Brim. Then some more options will pop up for you. The first thing you need to look at is your Support Brim line count. So for the size of this model, let's go ahead and say four. I'm going to have it at four lines. Now if we try to slice our model again, you can see how thick this is. So let's move up past the first layer. So you can see it's still printing the exact same. So you can see that it's just our first layer that has this extra thick wall. Support brim is the exact same as a brim, except it is on the inside of the print. Because supports don't completely do 100% infill on the first layer. That is all determined on what your support pattern density is. Now, your brim will give you extra adhesion. This is extremely important for those smaller prints and if you have just bad adhesion issues, if it's hard for you to get supports to stick to your bed, brim is one thing that is going to help you. Because maybe you need to do overkill and just say, you know what, I'm gonna set it to 10 and then I'm going to slice it and then there we go. This is going to have a solid first layer. The one thing I will tell you, the more line counts, obviously you're going to be using more filament. Now just like I explained in the other video, this all is determined by the size of the supports you're using. So if my supports are very small, so let me scale this down for you. So if I scale this down and I have this set really high, when I slice it, it's going to do 100% infill essentially on my first layer. Now when I will set this to a higher number is when I have a small support structure like this. And especially when it's like this, a very tall support going all the way up to your model in one specific area. You want this thing to stay where it's at and you don't want it to snap off your build plate because we've all been there and it's super annoying because you've got a failed print completely just because of this stupid little support. 
So all you have to do is go into your support brim line count and just crank this up until it completely infills the entire way. This will use more filament, but I would rather waste a little more filament and have a support that's gonna stick in place. So let's just say that you have your supports and you have your support brim line count up high, but you're still having issues with your adhesion. That's where I will jump to another setting, and this one isn't actually in supports. I will go down here to build plate adhesion. So you're going to go to this drop down and click brim. And brim is the, exactly the same as support brim, but this is on the outside. So if I go ahead and select this and slice it, you'll see that on the outside, on the base, on my initial layer, it is actually making the base a lot wider. So now you actually have it on the inside and the outside. This will definitely help you with your adhesion to your build plate. Now the one thing about this is, when you enable brim, brim is around your entire model. So if your model is right here on the edge, and you have this enabled, it will actually connect this brim to your model and your support. So when you peel it off, you are going to have this attached to your model and to your supports. The best way to get rid of these is either just an X-Acto knife, and most of the time, all you have to do is just peel it off because it is only one layer. The brim is an extremely powerful setting to help with your adhesion. There are times where I have certain models that just do not stick to the bed for some reason because either it has a very small point of contact on the build plate or it's just a pain in the butt. Sometimes things just don't work out too well. That's why I always jump to brim on my first setting to change because that will help it stick to the bed because it's giving it a wider base to stick. So if you have build plate adhesion issues, I strongly encourage you to use brim. This will help your model stick to the bed better and using support brim, it'll help your support stick to the bed better as well. Then when you're using them both in tandem, you are going to have some solid supports that really have a good adhesion to your bed. We have covered so much in the last few videos. We know now our, how to get our support overhangs, what our support structure is, our support placement, our wall line count, and now we know what our brim is for supports. And guess what, everybody? We're not done. <laughs> We're not done. <sighs> Deep breaths. And now we gotta talk about our roofs and our floors. And I'm not talking about in a house, folks. We're still talking about supports. And we're gonna tackle that in the next video.